Hi everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do a haul video. So a few weeks ago I asked you guys on Instagram if you would like to see any other things besides Rainbow Loom tutorials here on this channel and you guys said yes. I had an overwhelming amount of saying yes, 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 please. And I just want to thank you all, who, everybody who commented yes because I was planning on doing it in anyways, but I just want to make sure it would be okay with you guys. So once again, thank you to all of you who commented on that post and I really do truly appreciate it. So I figured this would be a fun way to kind of kick it off. I have a huge lineup of videos planned. I'm not going to do them like, I'm only going to do them every now and then. So there will probably be one of these videos maybe once or twice a month. I'll probably have a few tutorials uh, for, for Rainbloom every couple of weeks, hopefully, depending on my school schedule. But like I said, this is a haul video and it's going to be for one of my favorite things in the world that I talk about a lot on my Instagram and that is Lush. If you guys are not familiar with Lush, Lush is a cosmetics company. They are mostly well known for their bath products, but they also make a huge lineup of other products. They make shampoo, conditioner, soaps, all sorts of things and that's the great thing about them. I've been using their products for about two years now and I just have never looked back. There was a huge craze on Instagram, especially in the Rainbow Room community. Um, about Lush, probably around the time, around this time a couple of years ago, around the time I started my Instagram account, so September, October of 2015 was when it was really going on. And I saw my friends demoing these bath bombs and I was like, I'm going to give those a try. And I did go <laughs> buy my first bath bomb soon after that and I haven't looked back, like I said. So I figured this would be a fun haul to do and just as a disclaimer before I get started, this video is not sponsored by Lush in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to do this because I thought it would be fun. So with all that being said, let's just jump right in and get started. So like I said, they're mostly well known for their bath products, which is what I usually go for when I go to Lush. So I pick up usually one, maybe two things every time I go up. So the first thing, I usually always get a bath bomb. So the one I picked out this time, and this is out for Halloween, is the Pumpkin Bath Bomb. So this is what it looks like. It's got this really cute jack-o'-lantern type of face. And this does smell like pumpkin pie. It has a cinnamon and vanilla underscent that you can kind of smell. And for some reason to me, when I first picked this up, it does smell like citrus. But now that I smell it more, it does definitely smell like the nice pumpkin pie scent we all know and love, but it's not overly powerful. So this is what that looks like. Definitely excited to try this out. If you guys would like to see any demos of these products, let me know in the comments down below because I'd be happy to do them in the future. So that's the bath bomb I picked out. And then the bubble bar I picked out, which I don't normally get the bubble bars. I get them maybe two times a year. Um, just depends on uh, how much money I have on me, but I did pick up a bubble bar and this is also out for Halloween. This is kind of the trend of this haul is Halloween products and this is the Bewitched bubble bar. This is in the shape of a black cat, which I think is really, really cute. So, and it smells like berries. It has a kind of a berry scent to it. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. And this is actually supposed to make black bath water, which is super cool. I don't think a lot of bath bombs, uh, not just from Lush, but other uh, companies as well, use black in their bath bombs. I could be wrong on that, um, but I just love it. I'm really excited. I've heard nothing but good things so far since this came out uh, last week, I want to say. So definitely going to be using this in the next couple of days. <laughs> So those are the two major things. Now I'm going to get into the samples. If you guys go to your Lush, local Lush store, or you can, I think you can do it online as well. You can request samples of some of their products. I always tend to get one or two samples per time. This time I actually happened to get three. So the first one I'm going to test or show you guys is this one, which is a product I have actually never used. I've never used any of their products. Uh, things from this line which is the boom toothy tabs so that's what the case looks like and then the inside hopefully they won't fall out on me it looks like this these are just these little pellets and they are solid toothpaste so they're actually toothpaste but they're in a solid form pretty much what you do is you take one crush it up in your mouth and take your regular toothbrush and just brush it and it will make, this one is supposed to make your teeth water, which is really, really cool. We originally bought these for my brother, but I don't think he's going to use them, so I'm going to try them out 
for myself. Charcoal, like I said, is supposed to make your teeth whiter, which is really cool. So I know, because I'm not specifically from this uh, Tubi Tabs or uh, from Western General, but from I've seen videos on YouTube of people trying the black charcoal toothpaste, and it is supposed to make your mouth black. So um, hopefully it pays off in the end. So I will let you guys know how I think about that. And the other uh, one I picked up, I actually have an older version of this, but it's pretty much the same thing. My mom has the other one that we picked up in this trip, and this is the Lord of Misrule Shower Cream. So I'm not going to show you guys what it looks like on the inside because I filmed this video earlier and it kind of went all over the place. So I will insert a picture over here to show you guys what it looks like. But it has a nice patchouli scent and it's kind of got a woodsy feel to it, which I really like, but it's not overly powerful. So definitely like this. This also has a bath bomb form, which I will also really, really enjoy. So I'm excited to check out the shower cream. And the next thing I picked up from this triple wash, the last sample, is a soap. So this is the Magic Wand Soap. I believe this is also out for Halloween. So this one, it actually broke, but uh, hopefully you guys can see it okay. It's black on the outside and it kind of has a orange and pink color in the inside. So this is really cool. I really like the look of it. This smells like candy kind of it smells like strawberry candy some people have compared it to the snow fairy scent which i believe comes out around christmas time i personally have never used anything with the snow fairy scent but i have heard fantastic things about it and it's supposed to have a candy kind of scent so that's kind of what i'm getting from this um again i really like it i really like the scent so those are all the samples i picked up at this trip and i'm also figured why not throw in some other samples I have picked up in the past. I will say, just as another disclaimer, some of these have been discontinued up to this point, uh, which is sad because a lot of these I have really liked. Um, and I'm, I'm really sad that I can't pick them up in stores anymore. But um, if you guys have tried any of these products, also let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. So the first one I have to show you, I believe this, I got this in a swap box. This is Hasn't been discontinued yet, but I believe it is being discontinued soon. This is the Needles in Pine uh, Shower Jelly. So I can't show you guys what this one looks like. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. It smells exactly what this name says. Needles in Pine. It smells like Christmas. That's the best way I can describe it. I really like it. It kind of smells like men's aftershave, if that makes any sense. But it's really nice. So I believe what you do with the shower jellies, because I've never used one, is if you had a full size one, you cut them up and you can kind of use them like a bubble bar. So I'm thinking uh, maybe I can try that with the sample and if I like it enough, I'll buy a full size one in the future. So that's that one. The next one I have is another shower cream. Again, I can't take it out of a container because it will go. Oh, actually, I can't take this out of a container because it will go everywhere. I just filmed, or actually just film this video and my one of the other ones oh, the Laura Miss Roll one went all over the place so I will just insert a picture of what it looks like in the inside here um, this is the comforter shower cream this has a kind of a berry scent to it um, kind of like and it just spilled all over my lap great um, I like it berry cough syrup that's what I can describe it as it's got a that scent but it's not too powerful um so I do really like that that's also a bubble bar that I have not tried um so I'm just wiping my hands because it can it spilled all over me great job Jackie oh. so I did pick that up uh I want to say that was back in mid so the last time I was at Lush before this trip and the next one has also been discontinued I believe and this one is the African to Paradise body conditioner this is another one I tried out in the store and really liked um, I'll try to show you guys what it looks like there we go it's got kind of a nice kind of taupe color to it once again this I know has been discontinued since I picked it up which is sad but um, oh well <laughs> in that one uh, as far as the scent This smells like rose argan 
oil. It's got kind of a hint of a rose scent to it. So I really like that. Unfortunately, again, it has been discontinued. So um, unfortunately, I won't be able to pick up a full size one in the stores anymore. But I'll have to do with a sample for now. And what else do we have? I have a few of them. This is like one of my oldest ones. I think this is the first sample I ever got from Lush. And this is the Cynthia Silver Stout Shampoo. So this is one of their shampoos. Once again, I'll sh uh, show you guys a picture of it right here. When, uh, what it looks like when it's inside. So that's what that looks like. I haven't used any of their shampoos. And this does smell like... Um, I don't know how to describe it. It does have that stout sm smell, so hence the name. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. And the next one, we're coming down to our last few. So this one, next one, I think has been discontinued as well. This is a shower smoothie, and this is in the scent Turkish Delight. This one, I believe, just got discontinued this past summer. Um, and this also smells like rose argan oil. Kind of another rosy scent, but not too powerful. And this one and the uh, African Paradise one I've been using since I got the sample and I really enjoyed it so far. So that's really nice. And the next one is, I think this is my last one. Yeah, this is my last one. So this one is the Olive Branch Shower Gel. Again, I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like on the inside. And this one smells like, if you guys have ever used, I think this is also being discontinued, I could be wrong, um, they are uh, like fig and leaves soap. That's what this smells like. So it's got a really nice, another really nice fall scent to it. And I have used shower gels from other uh, companies in the past and I use them kind of like a bubble bar so that's my how I might use this one so that's it. and the last thing I picked up from Lush in general is their most recent catalog so this kind of just has all of their products that they have year-round um, no matter what season is and I what I like to do is I like to go through it every time I go to Lush um, especially if they get a new edition of the uh, catalog I will go through it and just kind of mark up the procs I have used in the past. So my biggest, uh, this is just one couple of pages, this is the bath bombs section. This is the one I mostly use again is the bath bombs and I've used I think 15 or 16 of their bath bombs whether they be seasonal or they're, they're year round that is what I use the most and I think the other one would probably be like the ones I had in the samples, like the shower gels or the shower creams. So this definitely comes in handy uh, if you guys can't decide what you want to get from Flush when you go up. This definitely comes in handy from helping you decide. So that's why I always like to pick these up. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have my Instagram name linked down below as well as Lush's website if you guys would like to check out any of these products for yourself. Those are linked down below. Like I said, what's wrong with my Instagram to see all of my Lush demos are always on there. I also have my Twitter down below. I just started that a few weeks ago, so that'll be linked down below, as well as my other channel as and my vlog. So go check those out. Again, they're all in the description box below. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!